Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2. I'm Penguin Lord, and last time, we were getting ready to go to our first mission. Which was where? If you click on the left analog stick, uh, what you call it, holographic markers show you where to go. So we're gonna sneak over there, pick up some bottles on the way, because you know, there's 30 of them in this world. It's gonna be... We're gonna want to get as many as we can while we can. Oh, if you hold circle on these kind of ledges, he sneaks like this, and it gets really quiet. Hee hee hee. Sneaking! Why is this controller sticky? You can climb poles like this. Phone, I don't want to speak to whoever is calling me right now. That is not interesting my face. Why must you keep ringing? I already said I don't even want to talk to you. Where did that mission? Oh, it's way over there. Ugh. Give me one sec, viewers. It's just my thing, my controller on the analog sticks was bugging me. Sorry you had to see that. It's sticky. It's still sticky. I'll have to fix that off screen. But right for right now, I think we're fine. See that little holographic marker? That's where we start. Oh, we can crawl under tables while you're under a table. Guards can't see you. But let's start our mission now. I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Whoa, I am seeing major lag on my computer. Um, I hope it's still picking up fine. Ooh, major lag. Whoa. But anyways, let's come up here. I hope it doesn't affect my video too terribly. So all you do is hit circle next to these satellites. Position. I've uploaded the next waypoint yeah, into it is. Mask Remember, the L3 Sorry, I just had to get that I saw. It. I I never liked how we called it an L3 button. Um, I'm pretty sure that is its actual name. I just called I always just said click on the left analog stick. The stick on the left. The stick. There we go. Now let's go set up this satellite to our safe house. So we can hack into their information. Activate your leaf basket imager by pressing the L3 button to buy the last dish waypoint. Remember, the view is always better from a room. If you hit the right analog stick, you can go into your webcam and Ooh, zoom in. Shut up. Bentley, I will explain this to them. Keep your mouth shut. I already explained that. Gosh. So, let's set up this last one. Yeah. Look at that. Data. Job complete. Nice work, Sly. I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe as we speak. All in a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head out for the cellar. 
Let's do it. Let's go and be doing that thing that you asked me to do right now. Ooh, there's another bottle. There's 30 of these in this chapter, and you think, oh man, they're just handing them out like candy. No, we'll have to go hunting later. Right now, I'm not really caring, but later, it'll matter. Later. Good to see not you, now. Buddy. Hey, look, our buddy Murray. The wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. So pretty much, she wants us to As fight well, the rats. If you leave this area, you'll um, abandon your current job. That's cool. Ready? I'd like to pickpocket him. If I could. Nope. They saw us. Attack! Pretty much all you do is attack with X. You can only like pickpocket and do that secret on, the one you. hit kill when they haven't detected you yet. Thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. <laughs> Looks like you're on your own from here. Okay. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. And see, that line was funny there because in the last game you could only play as Sly, and Murray and Bentley you couldn't play as. But in this game, you can play as. Bentley, I've already explained how to crawl under the tables. Bentley, I've already explained this. That's not true. They are stronger. They usually have projectiles and a lot more HP. But they also usually have more money and valuables in their pocket. Not this one. So now I'll use a sneak attack on them. But usually they don't. Let's just bust this up for more coins. I like coins. I like me some coins. Fit me some coins. I don't need to be here. What am I doing? <clears throat> Ooh, coins. Oh, he's turning his view. He doesn't have money either, so I'll just go ahead and kill him. This air vent leads into and now we can crawl in this air vent. Hit the circle button to crawl Shut inside. up, Bentley. Okay, I didn't explain that when you hit circle, but it was shining blue. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the air. Because that makes sense. Bentley, shut up! I've explained this all, Bentley. Bentley, dude, I've already done it. Shut up. I'm so mad at you right now, Bentley. Shut your mouth from now on. Let me explain this. I've explained that. Bentley, stop. Boom. Hey, more money. That's right, I'm a money fool in this game. You'll see why. Hey, look around. Oh, stupid rats. They shouldn't be too hard to handle on. Sorry, I'm fighting. I haven't done an action RPG. Action. Oh my god, I played an action RPG. I haven't done an action let's play up until this point. Hey look, another vent. You want to bust this open? And crawl in.
usually in each chapter before we can start doing stuff, we'll have to do a reconnaissance. Recon you know what I'm trying to say. Reconnaissance. Um, thing first. So pretty much. Reconnaissance. You come to these windows. Really? Do I have to wait until you stop talking? Use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. And we want to take a picture of all these different things, the Munty printer, the generator, and Dimitri, just so we have proof and we can make a plan of action. So pretty much you want to zoom in until the green... Shut up. Actually, I probably should have let him talk. But, uh, you want to see how it's red? That's not a good photo. You want to zoom in or zoom out accordingly until... Boom! Like that. Huh, smart. So now we want to take a picture of Dimitri. Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. It's weird not talking for periods of time so you guys can talk. I'm not sure I like it. You better shut your mouth. The recon hey, photos are again. a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. So pretty much we've got, like, prerequisites. We still can only play here. We can connect to the, to the thief nut. Look, for each one, Bentley, Murray, and Sly, you need so many coins to get a gadget. Thus, why I want so much money. Cause they get so expensive later. We've already established this, Bentley. Shut up. Oh my God! Shut up. Shut, shut, shut your mouth right now. Um, I want to show one more thing before I cut this episode. Ooh, there's a guard. Yes, and he's got a shiny pocket. Pretty much, you go up behind him, circle. I've explained this already. But once they're out of coins and they have a shiny pocket, pick it again. Gold co. You get different things depending on, you know, what they're holding in their pocket. Gold stuff is obviously worth more than, say, bronze or... Wait, does he have a shiny pocket? He does. I'm going to pick him. Just because I can. Yay. So see that gold, this is perfect. The gold comb is going to be worth more than the silver comb. Obviously. So it's just based on luck what you get. So now we'll go back into the safe house. Go, hook up to the thief net. And look, we can sell the silver comb for 19 and the gold comb for 27. Doesn't seem like much, but later we'll get more stuff that's more expensive. So yeah, this is Penguin Lord signing off. Subscribe, please. So.